Welcome back YouTube Pipe Smokers, Mutton Chop Piper here. Well today's video is entitled, Let's Look at Meerschaum Pipes. Now before we get started, I wanted to reiterate how I want my channel to operate. Um, I'd like my channel to be more of a learning center, an area where those new pipe smokers and intermediate pipe smokers can come to discover um, how to go about smoking their pipes uh, in the correct way. Uh, but first I want to tell you that I, I do not know everything. I've got 30 years of experience in smoking pipes, but I don't know it all. I don't know everything there is to know. So what I would like is for you senior pipe smokers, the pipe smokers that have been doing it for uh, anywhere from you know five to thirty years uh, to leave a comment um, I'm going to basically give you the information that I know about a certain subject but that's my experience other people who have have just as much experience that I do may have arrived at the same point that I am in a different way so if those, if those individuals that have a lot of experience and would be willing to leave a comment uh, that could uh, chronicle your experience with the subject matter so that it could help out those new and um, intermediate pipe smokers. Um, so basically what I'm saying is, once you watch my video, you new and intermediate pipe smokers, go down into the comments and look and see if someone has done something different to get to the same point that I have. Um, that way you have multiple angles to go, go by to try to uh, learn more about pipe smoking. Um, so again, um, if, if you're... Uh, a senior pipe smoker and you've got a lot of experience uh, and you want to leave a comment that will um, add to uh, the information or the knowledge so that those new and intermediate pipe smokers can come and not only take what I have to say but they can also uh, learn more from other people uh, in the community um, that might be able to help them in a different way. Okay, so let's get started with our video. Today we're gonna to talk about Meerschaum pipes. Now Meerschaum pipes, uh, the word Meerschaum means sea foam in German. And the pipes that are made that are of good quality uh, come primarily from Turkey. Uh, there is a place uh, on the coast Turkish coast called Eskishir and that's primarily where most of the quality Meerschaum is mined. Uh, now most of the Meerschaum that is that was on the surface is pretty much mined already so now what they have done is they have drilled down into the seabed and they mine it from underneath the sea. Uh, Meerschaum has sort of like a cheese consistency once it's mined. Um, it is brought up uh, to the surface. It is cleaned. Uh, it's usually got a lot of dirt. It's cleaned. And then, it's, uh, and then it sets for a while. Uh, once it dries to a certain point, it gets to a consistency of like soap. So then the carver can take that piece of Meerschaum well, before they carve it, they actually cut it into small blocks, uh, small Meerschaum blocks. And they uh, dry it out enough to where it gets to that soapy consistency. And then they carve it. And there are some really beautiful, intricate carved Meerschaums out there. So, why am I telling you this? Well, I have not really had a lot of success Meerschaum pipes. Um, I'm very impatient. 
Um, I'm sort of this the kind of guy that wants instant gratification. I want I want my tobacco to taste good right away. And I um, I mean, over the years, I've been I've been able to get a little bit more patient, but um, as time goes on, um, I get more patient as time goes on, and so I decided that I'm going to give Meerschaum pipes another try. The reason why I'm impatient is because I want it to color. When you smoke a Meerschaum pipe, it starts out white, like ivory white, but as you smoke it, the pores on the inside are open throughout the whole Meerschaum pipe, and as you smoke it, um, the moisture and the um, ash sink into the actual Meerschaum pipe, and over time it colors into a nice, beautiful yellowish brown amber color. And uh, but it takes quite a while. Some people can get it done pretty quick, but not for me. It takes forever. Uh, so I decided that I was going to give it another try. So let me show you the Meerschaum pipe that I've got. It's an SMS pipe, and I chose this shape because I, I really am one of the one of the shapes pipe shapes that I'm partial to is a poker. So here is my new Meerschaum pipe. As you can see, it's poker shaped. Um, it's got a pretty deep bowl. Uh, it's got like a reddish, orangish uh, bit here. But I really like the way it looks. I like the shape. I like the carving on it. And the tobacco that I think I'm going to use to color it with is Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding. So, um, I'll try to keep you up to date as time goes by and let you know how, how it goes, how I'm, how I'm doing with the color. I'll show you, you know, every so often, well, here's the color of it so far and, and hopefully I'll be doing videos long enough to where it'll be a nice amber color. I want to, I want to pass on to you a story about a Meerschaum pipe. As you all know, I was a tobacconist at one time, and I worked at Schwab's Pipes and Stuff in Lexington, Kentucky. So when I first started working there, uh, there we the store was located next to a uh, a check exchange where you could you know pay payday check exchange uh, for you people in Europe. Here in the states, if you're a little short on cash before payday. You can go into the, one of these places and they'll give you some money and then you just pay them back on payday. So anyway, a, a girl worked there and her boyfriend came in one day and he said he wanted to get a Meerschaum pipe. So he did. Now I don't think that this guy was running on all cylinders um, because he smoked it for a few days and was irritated that he could not get it to color. Um, no, that's not right. He was upset because it was coloring. It was, it was starting to get, in his words, dirty. So one day he comes in and he brings a pipe in and it's got black splotches and brown splotches and it looks horrible. I mean, it looks just, you know, uh, Jeff Schwab, the owner, looked at it and goes, oh my God, what the heck happened? He thought, oh man, I'm going to have to replace this Meerschaum pipe because, you know, it's, it's, something's wrong with it. It's uh, inferior Meerschaum. The guy said, well, I looked at it after I smoked it uh, a couple of weeks and I noticed it was getting dirty. So I put it in the dishwasher. The man actually put the pipe in a dishwasher because he thought it was getting dirty. 
So he brings it in, and this thing is just a monstrosity. It's just, uh, it's, oh my God, you wouldn't believe. But unbelievable, it still was smokable, and he smoked it right along. But we made sure to tell him. <laughs> it's supposed to color. You're not supposed to put it in any kind of water, especially a dishwasher. So I just got a kick out of that. I couldn't believe that somebody would actually put a pipe in a dishwasher to clean it. But this gentleman did. So so there you go. So my tip of the day, realize that when you start smoking a meerschaum pipe, it's going to color. And that's not dirt. So please do not put it in a dishwasher. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something. Until my next video, I want to wish you and your family happy piping.